Okay, so we will be discussing about Menelaus theorem today. Um, we will learn what it means and why it is significant in geometry problem solving. So the Menelaus theorem is discussed in the Math Olympiad program and the ISI entrance program at Chinda. And it is part of the geometry module. So what is it all about? One of the main objects of study in geometry are points. So suppose you have two points in the plane, you can always draw a line through them. But if you have a third point, say let's use this red color here. If you have a third point, this line may or may not pass through this third, third point. So it's a very special case when this third point is also on this particular line. In this case, we say that these three points A, B and C, they are collinear. We say they are collinear. That is, they are on the same straight line. In fact, we can discuss this about four points. So if you have four points on the same line, we say the four points are collinear. They are on the same straight line. So it's often important to understand the conditions that make three points lie on the same straight line. And that's the content of the Menelaus theorem. It's a result that talks about the collinearity of points with reference to a triangle. So let's go to the statement of this particular uh, theorem statement. It says that <clears throat> if you have a triangle ABC, let's say like this, and if you have three points, let's say one, two, and let me extend the third, third side, one, two, and three points, let's say D, E, and F, such that these three points are collinear, they are on the same straight line. So like this, they are on the same straight line. Then a certain ratio of length holds. So what is the ratio of length? I'll tell you the ratio. I'll tell you, tell you the final result. But first I'll tell you how you can remember this particular result. So you start with B, any of you start with any one of the vertices. I'll start with B and we go to D. So BD over DC times CE over EA, CE over EA times AF over FB, AF over FB. This is equal to negative one. So we talk about negative one because we are here we are using signed lengths. So if you have if you consider one of the directions to be positive, then the other direction if you come back that's a negative. So that's why we are using negative one here. Notice that there is exactly one direction change. So we switch the direction exactly one times. So if this is the positive direction or the positive orientation, then we will have five negative orientations because once you change it, now the direction is negative. And if you multiply five negatives and one positive, you get a negative. That's, that's the sort of way you can think about this negative sign. Okay. Now we want to show that if D, E, F are collinear, if D, E, F are collinear, 
then BD over DC times CE over EA times AF over FB is equal to negative 1. This is our objective. This is what we want to show. That's the statement of the Menelaus theorem. And the proof involves similarity of triangles. It's not hard at all. So I'll give you this first step of the proof now. So here is the proof of why this theorem is true. So again, I'll draw a picture. A, B, C. And I'll extend the line BC. And let me draw DEF like this. So D E F such that they are on the same straight line. So like this. So I'll make a construction. I will extend this line like this. And I'll draw a line that is passing through A and parallel to the base BC. So here we go. Oops, it doesn't look very much parallel, but let's put it. So that's the construction. Draw green line which is parallel to BC. And suppose this point is X, the point where the DF extended intersects this parallel line. Okay, now we will use two pairs of similar triangles. The first pair of similar triangle is AXF similar to BFD. So triangle AXF is similar to BFD. Can you tell me why AXF is similar to BFD? It's very easy. You have to use the property of parallel lines. And if you can understand why it is similar, please write it in the comment. Give me a rigorous reason why AXF is similar to BFD. Similarly, can you tell me why triangle AEX is similar to triangle CED? So here we go. AEX, this triangle, AEX is similar to CED. Why is that? Again, you have to use the parallel line properties. Uh, so, if you understand why these two pairs of triangles are similar, now this is extremely simple. Why? Because you see, let me use the first one. AXF is similar to BFD. I really want you to do this. So, I'll give you only part of the proof. So, I'll opposite to these two angles we have bd and ax so we take the ratio of that and opposite to these two angles we can take the ratio of bf over xf and opposite to these two angles we have af uh, so bf over af so this is one set of ratios we get from the first pair of similar triangles which is great because this will be useful for us so maybe i will shorten this up a little bit and we look at the second pair of similar triangles this pair and we can use that as well so let me again do the same thing so let's take these two angles are equal of course they are vertically opposite so opposite to them we have ax over cd which is equal to now you can also take this this angle and this angle to be equal in this two triangles as well 
okay so you can write it as a e over c e okay you just need this much that's all you need so we are just one step away from the final proof one step away can you use these two pairs of ratios to come and prove the following result that bd over dc times ce over ea times af over fb is equal to negative 1 can you use these two results these two results these two equations to prove this one it's just a matter of multiplication really so it's one step away i want you to write it down and put a comment in the description we will i will try to respond to your comments and i'll come back with the next video uh, keep on doing great mathematics until then all right bye